The ANC in the Western Cape is hosting its Cape Metro Regional Conference this weekend. The party's biggest region in the province, the Dula Omar region, will have 300 voting delegates to elect new leaders. Atim Tongana joins us now. Ati, good to catch up with you this afternoon. We believe the event is running behind schedule and uh, not anything new for the ANC. Definitely not anything new of the African National Congress. The delays this time around for this particular conference, this being the Dala Omar Cape Metro Regional Conference, which has a membership of around um, 11,000. That's what we were told by the provincial secretary then making up uh, the numbers insofar as it being the biggest region of the ANC in the Western Cape. But they have lost ground uh, over the years, especially in the last local government elections. And so the race now, as they are about to elect new leaders for the Cape Metro, Metro, the race is to regain uh, some of the seats that they've lost in council and also to generally regain the confidence of the people who used to vote for the ANC in the strongholds of the uh, party in the Western Cape. We're talking about communities like Kylie Chap, Mitchell's Plain. Those are the communities that are in the Cape Metro, which uh, the ANC is really trying uh, to target in the build-up to the 2024 uh, provincial and national elections. I'm joined by NEC member Supra Mahumapilo, who is uh, deployed to the province. When you look at the check record of the ANC in this uh, province, uh, one can say it almost doesn't exist given its previous uh, influence in the Western Cape and the dwindling numbers, therefore, and also just looking at the fact that this is the same region which was disbanded for poor performance. Based on the conferences that have taken place, including this one, our approach is a very simple one going forward. We are now going to embark on what we call the Vescapse Revolution. The Vescapse Revolution, one of its immediate tasks is to ensure that we unite the black people in the Western Cape, because the black people in the Western Cape constitute more than 75% of the population. So our first immediate task is to achieve that objective. As soon as we have achieved the objective of uniting black people, we will be in a position to win back the Western Cape. What about the colored population? Because they do also make up the numbers in this province. No, I'm saying black people. Black people, it's Indians, it's colors, it's Africans. When you bring them together, it's black people in the Western Cape. We are a majority as black people in Western Cape. The only thing we need is the unity of black people in the Western Cape. So this conference, one of the serious tasks it must emerge with here is the unity of black people in the Western Cape. Translate How will you unite people? Uh, won't you indulge me? I apologize for interrupting, but I just want to get a sense from you as to how you will unite those people you speak of if the leadership itself is divided. We know that some of the main issues here in the Western Cape were internal squabbles. The Dala Omar region was disbanded because there were factions within the leadership. So how do you then begin to unite the people on the ground if the leaders are not united? The ANC is on an irreversible path to political renewal. And that path is going to be achieved. Yes, it was disbanded. That's why we have a regional conference now to take resolutions and to elect a new leadership. But more than electing a leadership, as I have said, is to remind the black people who are a majority in the Western Cape that we have a responsibility to regain the Western Cape as black people under the banner of the African National Congress. That is the immediate task. All other things will be dealt with later. We must have first have the instrument in our hands which is the Western Cape governance as the ANC, then that instrument 
can be used to better the lives of, of the people going forward. Because we have learned our lessons when we are in the provincial government here. Now, before I let you go, some of these staff members here at the Southern Sun Hotel were telling us that the venue was not paid and hence some of the delays. We know that the other delays were due to issues around registration. But when you look at the financial situation of the ANC in the Western Cape, what do you say to that? Because really when they were telling us that the venue was not paid on time, what kind of a message is that sending about the ANC in the Western Cape? Anybody who owns a hotel like this one will not allow anyone to use it for free. So had we not paid anything for this venue, we would have been chucked out of this place. So I'm just wondering, so why then did it take so long if you planned and knew that you were going to host a conference and by the time the delegates arrived, the doors were closed because money was not paid? We are here. The venues are open. Conference is on. We're going to now get into credentials, get into discussion, adopt resolutions, elect a new leadership. That's the most important task. And we are happy that the management has said we can now use their facilities We're on the same wavelength in as far as uh, uh, honoring the payment is concerned. For us, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the unity that's going to emerge and regaining through the first cup revolution the Western Cape back into the hands of the ANC. Subrah Mahumapilo, thank you so Bye much for you. your time. A member of the National Executive Committee of the ANC deployed to the Western Cape as they ensure that they host a successful Dala Omar Regional Conference. Back to you in studio.